Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Maybe you've seen one of these. It's a tennis computer. It's actually a tennis string computer kind of. It's an ERT300. It's back. You who string a lot, you know what this is. But for many of you, you have probably no idea because it's it's not that common in club level or among club level players. But if you're a serious stringer, I'm sure you have one of these. It does measure the dynamic stiffness of the string bed. So you place the racket in the string bed clamp it there and then it will give you a value and the value is called dt dynamic tension the dt will tell you if the racket has dropped tension if it's time for a restring and it can also start giving you a reference point for where your optimal tension is so you can adjust it and you say okay i like a dt around 40 35 32 or so on and we'll get to what that is in this video and we have pros coming here to marbella spain and Nikki is customizing for a lot of them. Some of them are very, very aware of DTs, and that can be uh, interesting because they will go and check the racket after stringing, and they will say, oh, this was DT34 and not 37, which I'm used to, etc." So that shows like how well-known this product and this kind of way of measuring is also among the pros. And the pros, I've noticed, are becoming more and more picky with their equipment, which makes sense in a way tennis is a game of small margins and if you can optimize your game with the equipment you need to do it so let's get into how you use a ERT 300 now that it's back for example you have this arrow here uh, my doubles racket I put it in the middle of the string bed and then you click it on I can feel it vibrate it shows a DT of 31 and this is a, a bracket strung with Torline wasabi at 53 pounds it's been played a bunch of hours so it's probably dropped a bit uh, so let's see what makes sense here in terms of this uh, dynamic tension value and then we have this little nifty wheel here that i can determine where we are so uh, we have the dt value here and then i will now scroll it it was 31 so we have 31 dt here Racket head size up here, it shows that it's between 95 to 105, which shows that this tension is now down to around 21 kilos, 46 pounds, which is a bit low. And uh, that's why it's probably time for me, who like a little bit of a higher DT and more control, to restring this racket. So this is a good way to check after you've strung the racket, or if someone has strung it for you, to check what the DT value is, the tension is, and then you can see when it's time to change. We're all different. Sometimes if it drops down to around 26 in DT, it will tell you, the machine will tell you it's time to restring. But for some players, it's time to restring before that because the tension has dropped too much and you find it difficult to control. So it's a great device. I would say it's a must have for pretty much every stringer. Uh, it could be good for coaches. And if you're a very advanced player or if you wanna like be serious about your equipment, I would also recommend it. I've had it for many years in the previous yellow color now it's red and redone you get it with a small bag like this and uh, ready to go uh, it's not cheap but uh, it costs the same amount of about a racket i would say 249 euros but you get a lot of usage out of it if you're curious about your equipment and your string bed and your series about your tennis and if you're interested you can actually get 10 percent off using my code and link the link will be in description i really use this product a lot many pros come with this and walk around with this and will you know know their dt optimal value so if you look at this uh, little device here when you're playing with a DT of 28 to 34, it shows that you're more de defensive from the baseline. This would not be kind of where I am. A higher DT value where you get more control shows that you're more dynamic and off offensive. That's more my level around 35. And if you are really fast and aggressive, you hit with massive swing speeds like a Rafa, you're probably in the 42, 46 DT. And if you're you know swinging like crazy, you're 47, 56. I haven't seen many players use a, a, such a high dt actually so uh, i would say based on my experience with pro players that most players are around like 40 dt 35 to 40 i think that is what i've seen some probably use higher so there you have it that's the ert 300 people use it to understand their tension how fast the racket drops and it's a great way to keep up like let's say you play one two hours and you can go okay it's how much does this string drop so i do use it a lot for my string testing because it gives me an idea how fast the string drops. That will help me understand if it's actually time to restring or if it's in my head. I and mean, I think a lot of pros 
uh, use it to to also check if the stringer is doing a good job or not. So uh, it's it's a it's a multifaceted tool. I can really recommend it. I use it all the time. Obviously, I string my own rackets and I test strings for a living, kind of. So a bit different user case. But if you're a racket nerd, I would recommend it for sure. 10% off using the code tennis nerd. A little bit of a shout out to the hoodie I'm wearing. It's from Functional Tennis, a gift from Fabio from there. Maybe you follow them on Instagram. Great dude, friend of mine, good tennis player. We hit here when he visited Marbella a week or so ago. If you want more tennis, check out tennisnerd.net, your guide to tennis. There's loads of tennis con content there from ATP rankings to previews to predictions. Check out the website. It's gonna expand a lot in 2024 so there's also a youtube membership if you prefer that that's much appreciated have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis